Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the pathology of Carter Jenner syndrome. So let's start. So what is Carter Jenner syndrome? So it is basically a part of a group of disorders which is called as primary ciliary dyskinesias. So as the name tells us, ciliary means cilia, dys in dyskinesia means abnormal, and kinesia means movement. So Carter Jenner syndrome is a disease where there is defective cilia motility. There are two important mutations which cause this disease and these are DNAI1 and DNAH5. Now let's understand the pathophysiology behind this disease. It's pretty interesting. So here we have one of the cilia which is called cilium. And inside this cilium we have a ring of microtubules which is responsible for the movement of the cilia. So let's take a cross section and see how these tubules are arranged and let's see where exactly the problem is. So this is a cross section of the microtubules and we're looking at them from the top. These are arranged in a 9 plus 2 arrangement meaning that there are 9 outer pairs and 1 central pair. There are other parts also but the important one that you have to remember for this disease is dynein. So we have outer dynein arm and an inner dynein arm. A defect in both of these can lead to this disease. So due to this mutation, if the dynein arms are not working or are absent, the cilia will not be able to move properly and hence will lead to all the symptoms. Now let's see what are the clinical features in this disease. So as you know, the respiratory tract is lined by the cilia. Now cilia are responsible for keeping the respiratory tract free of pathogens and other particles. But in this disease, the cilia are not able to move properly. In other words, there is an impaired mucociliary clearance in this disease. And this is going to lead to a lot of complications. Let's understand this with an animation. So these are the cilia and these form what is called the mucociliary escalator. So normally what happens is when a pathogen comes and sticks to the cilia, the cilia will beat in a rhythmic and coordinated fashion and they will push the pathogen or any particle towards the pharynx. So the pathogen will be pushed up and up and finally be thrown out of the body. Now let's see what happens in Carter Jenner syndrome. So here as we saw there is impaired mucociliary clearance because the cilia are not moving. So now when a pathogen comes and sticks to the cilia, this pathogen will not be cleared and will stay there. Now this pathogen can multiply and can lead to a lot of diseases like bronchiectasis and other respiratory diseases. This disease can lead to infertility as well. Let's see how it can cause this. So talking about males, here the disease can affect the flagellum of the sperms. Due to this, the sperms will no longer be mobile or very very few will be able to move. And if this happens, there will be no fertilization and can lead to infertility. In females, it can affect the transport of ovum. Now what do I mean by this? So the fallopian tube is also lined by the cilia. These cilia are responsible for transporting the ovum from the distant part of the fallopian tube towards the uterine cavity so that it can meet with the sperm and fertilize. But here, since the cilia are not working, the ovum will not be able to move and will never meet the sperm, hence causing infertility. It can also affect the paranasal sinuses causing sinusitis and can occasionally lead to problems in the middle ear also leading to otitis media, decreased hearing and other conditions. Okay now coming towards the end of the video, Carter Jenner syndrome causes an interesting condition that is shown in this x-ray. Can you figure it out? I'll give you a few seconds. So I'm sure almost all of you must have picked it up, it's pretty easy. This x-ray shows us dextrocardia, which means that the heart is located on the right side. This is one of the manifestations of situs inversus, in which the organs in your chest and even abdomen are reversed. So remembering dextrocardia for this condition is important. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, so please leave them in the comments or you can message me on Instagram anytime. I will be leaving the link to my Instagram in the description. Thank you.